Hello guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to play split screen on Minecraft Java Edition. So first off you want to go to multimc.org and download multimc. I'll show you the process of downloading it right now. Once it has downloaded left click it and it will show multimc. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you where I put my folder. So just put it in any folder really I have mine in this location because I like to be organized. Now open up MultiMC. Once you have MultiMC open then you want to go ahead and create a profile. First you will have to log into your Minecraft account. It will ask for your email and password but as long as it's not your email password you should be fine. I know it's very skeptical but I did it anyway for the sake of split screen. Now whenever you're ready to make a profile go ahead and right click the profile screen and select a version. Now once you have that done go to edit instance. This is mainly for controllers but go ahead and click on install forge. Select a version of Forge and click OK. I'm just going to use the preset. Now you want to launch this profile and let it load up all the way and quit game. Now you want to copy instance. This will be your Syncit profile. For example, for split screen, one is going to be the one that you just now did. This one's going to be the secondary profile. Now you're going to want to open the photo for each of these profiles. Once you have that done, then you want to install a mod controllable. The link is in the description as well as MultiMC. Now you're going to copy this file into both of the folders, but it's in the mods folder, not the actual folder for the game. Now you're going to install Optifine and do the same for it to improve performance. Now you are ready to launch a game. You need two profiles in order to play online, but if you are going to be playing LAN, just go ahead and play offline like I'm going to be doing. For the player that's going to be using mouse and keyboard, go ahead and go to the controllable settings and um, let me go ahead and set up this to where it's split screen. Now, now that I'm in the controllable settings, go ahead and disable the controller. Go to settings and turn off auto select. Now I'm going to open to lens so my secondary screen can join. Now you want to press F3 and P on each of the games to disable pausing. This allows you to use both screens at the same time. Now whenever you connect a controller it should say connected unless you have auto select off. Now once you have your controller working go ahead and go to the controllable settings for the controller screen. Be sure to turn the light mode to console.
And that is how you play split screen on Java Edition.